Hey folks, good morning. Welcome to this installment, 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and today we're going to talk about why problems are so valuable. Stick around. Hey there, good morning, welcome to 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This is a show where we talk about all kinds of stuff to have help you. Help you. I try to talk about things that help you have a help, happy, healthy, balanced life. Clearly, not enough coffee yet this morning. So, this week we've been talking about value and today's title might seem a little bit unusual why problems are valuable. Why problems are valuable. But I'm going to explain that to you in just a minute. Before I do, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, doesn't matter, I'll track you down either way. Leave a comment down below. Let me know that you were here. Say hi. Say your hair looks funny. Say whatever. Just, just let me know that you were here. I will appreciate that, just like Joe just did. <laughs> By the way, I'll go ahead and give you a, a quick programming update. It's especially relevant for Joe. No coffee shop show this morning. It's Wednesday. Eric and I usually do the coffee shop show from Old Town Coffee today. We both have other plans. So no coffee shop show today. That will be back again next Wednesday in its regularly scheduled time, 9 o'clock Central. All right, so problems and why they are valuable. Yesterday we talked about how value is in the eye of the buyer, right? So what is valuable to me may not be valuable to someone else. Why is that? Well, it's because we all, uh, in the, well, the short kind of self-serving answer is we all value different things. Value is created when you solve problems for other people. I've, you've heard me say hundreds of times if you've heard me say it one time. Our job as business owners is to solve problems for other people at a profit. You could also say our job is to create value for other people at a profit. It's the same thing. Solving problems equals creating value. It's that simple. So when you think about problems, even if you went and, and checked out my LinkedIn profile, it would tell you. I am a solutionist. I am a problem solver. Basically, I think it says basically I solve problems for other people. So when you get access to those challenges, to those problems, to those difficult things that other people are facing, that's like the raw materials of creating value. Right? Happiness comes from progress. Progress is movement toward a goal. That progress is a result of execution. Right? So I can pursue and, and engage in a state of success and happiness without anybody else's input. But from time to time, I run into obstacles. I have challenges that I need help getting around. And when other people help me with that, that's where value is created. So look for other people that have challenges that you know how to solve. Right? Bring a system, bring a solution to them, and they will find value in that. Once you create value, and tomorrow I want to talk about how there is an infinite supply of value in the world. Right? You might not think about it, but I can show you how you can get, uh, I'll have one laying here, $300 worth of value out of one $100 bill. If you don't believe that's true, you got to watch tomorrow. I will explain to you how you do that. But there is an infinite supply of value. We just have to find it and bring it to those people that appreciate it. And remember, not everybody appreciates the same, uh, the same object as valuable. So you have to understand them and what brings value to them. I hope that's been helpful this morning. Give you something to think about today. Uh, as you get through your Wednesday. Final reminder, no coffee shop show today. Back with that next Wednesday. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs>